Hello, today what I'm going to try to do is attempt to uh, explain and show exactly how to create an, an Illuminate session. You can use these sessions for team meetings, team dialogues, work sessions, or what have you. So um, there have been several questions on how to go about doing this. So I'm going to show how to s reserve space in an Illuminate session, how to c add that to your calendar, as well as how to invite people to that session. So first things first, um, you'll want to go ahead and open up your favorite browser. I tend to use uh, Google Chrome. You could use Safari, Chrome, Firefox. Uh, I guess you could also use Opera. There have been issues with Internet Explorer, so I might shy away from that one. But um, I'm, for this example, I'm going to use Chrome. So I'm going to open up Chrome here. Go full screen so we can see all of the, all the real estate there. I'm going to open up two tabs. On the first tab, I'm going to log into BGI channel. And the second tab, I'm going to log into Google Calendar, which is calendar.google.com. All righty. So starting with the channel, I'm going to log in. And while that's loading, I'm going to go over to Google Calendar and log in with my BGI email address. Okay, so if you take a look, this is your Google Calendar. I have the BGI logo up there. On the left side, you will see the calendars that you're currently subscribed to. This is your default calendar. It'll have, obviously, your name. Under the other calendars, these will be the calendars that you are subscribed to. Some of them will show up here, some of them will show up here. Uh, so go ahead and we'll go back to the BGI channel. Hover over where it says community and then click on community commons. Over on the right side, under quick links, click on where it says BGI common room links. After some text here, the main thing is the group of Google Calendar, I'm sorry, of uh, Common Rooms. So we started off with A through C, but now we have, looks like A through H. So we have A through H. All right. So the anatomy of one of these is as follows. So you have the Common Room. You have the meetings that are already established here. So where there is a meeting, you can't reserve it in that common room, but it may be free in another common room. Underneath it is the login URL for Illuminate. This is the email address that you will want to send to your group members and as well as yourself. So when you click on this, it'll take you to the actual Illuminate session. And the recording playback link table will, give you, will send you to, an, a, uh, I guess it's a web page that has all of the Illuminate sessions that have been recorded so that you can actually go back and watch it at another time. It's also convenient if one of your group members has to miss it and you don't want them to miss the entire session, they can come in and watch it later. So f now that we know what, what's going on here, we can go ahead and add each of these to your Google Calendar so you have easy access to it. So we can click on at the bottom right hand corner of each calendar where it says plus Google Calendar. Click on there and it's going to open up another tab or window, whatever whatever it is you you have your settings established as. And it asks, do you want to add this calendar? Um, so yes, you want to add this calendar. Now, under other calendars, you'll see common room A show up. Now to show the calendar is shown by default. To hide it, you can actually click on it and then you won't see any of these on your calendar. It doesn't delete the calendar, it just hides it. So that can be very helpful if, you know, once you subscribe to all, you know, A through H and all of a sudden you have calendars everywhere, events everywhere, it may get a little overwhelming. So to hide some of those, just boom, there you go. So we can close out of that tab or window, scroll down to B, and do the exact same thing. Yes, add to calendar. Okay, now it shows up under my calendars. Okay, do the same thing with C. Yes. Okay. D, and you might notice that some of these show up under my calendars, other other calendars. I don't know why that's happening. 
I guess uh, you may have more privileges in one in, in the ones under my calendars uh, than you do in other calendars, but I don't know why, but th that's how it's happening. So you have D, then E. Go ahead and run through these really quickly. Okay, F. And as you can see, this can start to get pretty overwhelming very quickly. G. And H. Okay. So now that all of these have been established, again, you can go through and, and hide them at will. Let's see, this one, like common room C, for example. So now that all those are there, you can go ahead and start setting up your meetings. So, so we take a look at the calendar, see what's free. Um, our group normally meets on Tuesdays after our Illuminate session. So for me, the Illuminate session ends at doo -doo 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 -doo, about 7.30ish, 8 o'clock. So we would like to meet at 8 p.m. I'm going to go ahead and go to next week. And we have 8 o'clock free. So I'm going to go ahead and click there at 8 o'clock p.m. It's going to say we're going to have a BOP Rising meeting. and set the common room that you want to use. You can go about this two ways. You can either set it here. See, I'm going to go ahead and go with common room B. Create the event. Okay. Go ahead and click on that event. Now we know that it's in calendar common room B. We have this and we'll say meeting for project group. At this point, we can go ahead and add the guests. I'm just going to add a few. We have Austin is in my group. We have Brad in our group. Let's see, where is it? Okay, so here they're showing up right there. We also have Rachel. And we have, where are you? Meg, oh, there you are. Meg O'Leary. So, before I send out this invitation, I'm also going to want to go ahead and go back to Common Room B. Find this link right here. Right click and copy, or you can highlight and copy. Go ahead and go back and add that to the description so that it's easy for everybody to find. Go ahead and save. Would you like to send invitations to the guests? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and send that. BOP Rising shows up here. And if we did it correctly, it should show up here once we refresh the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Go back to Common Room B. OK. Go to next week, uh, there we are, and we have BOP rising at six. So th this is incorrect because I'm in central time zone. So all I have to do is go back in and change uh, BOP rising meeting to 10 o'clock for me, because that's when it actually is for me. Or I can just add the time zone feature and say it's gonna be a Pacific. And wow, there you go. Save update yes I'm gonna bombard my members with emails but it's all in the all in the benefit of the common good so there you go sorry about that guys okay I'm gonna go ahead and refresh again go back to common room B and now it's actually set for the right time right there okay again so this is the link that you're gonna need this is the record. I'm sorry, the uh, recording playback table. So you can click there, and this shows all of the recordings that have been done on that channel or on that um, that common room, and you can play them back. So I think that does it. Um, I'm sorry. That yeah, there was one other way. So if we go back here, you can create a regular event. Let's just do this one as a. I'm sorry, 
do it. Let's create one here. Do let's call it a test event. Under calendar, instead of selecting common room B, I'll just select my own name. Create the event. Click on it to edit. And here, notice where it says guests, add guests. You can also add rooms. So if you click on rooms, you can go down to common room A, B, or C. So that's another way you can add the A, B, and C, but not all the, the through H. So I think the other way is a little bit easier, but I wanted to show you both just in case you needed them. Go ahead and discard changes and delete this event. I think that does it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'd be more happy, more than happy to help you out. Send me an email, uh, michael.main at bgi.edu. Twitter at Michael B. Main. Um, see, also feel free to add any of your questions to the forums, reply to this YouTube video, however you want to do it. So hope that helps everybody out. And let me know what else you might need help with, and I'll see if I can put together a little video for that. All right, you guys take it easy. See you at the next intensive, and see you at all the Illuminate sessions. All right, peace.